Hi everyone, I'm Bill Young and this is the Michigan Record Club and this is my co-host, this is Hope and she'll be sleeping in my lap <laughs> while we talk. Um, yeah, I just want to go over quickly uh, just some of my recent finds. Um, so yeah, we got to get caught up. I feel pretty good today, so we'll hit her. I won't dwell too deep on too many of these, but uh, I got quite a variety. Uh, a little bit of jazz, uh, some hard uh, rock, you know, uh, some hair metal. Um, and then, of course, I have some psych music. Uh, first one I want to start right off with is The Trip. Uh, the Trip was actually a uh, soundtrack. Um, it was put together by, uh, or it was performed by the Electric Flag. Um, it's pretty much uh, instrumental, but uh, yeah, I don't remember if there's any singing in it at all. It's on a, a peculiar label. It's called Sidewalk. If you can see it there. Let me just straighten it out. And it's good. You know, like an instrumental um, album usually are. Uh, yeah, I, I like it. Adjust the camera there a little bit. Next up, and that's kind of psych and a little bit jazz. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into some of these jazz records I got. Picked up a, a couple of Coltrane albums. This one is uh, uh, a 68 John Coltrane uh, Impressions. So it's not an original pressing, uh, which would have been um, 63, but uh, this is a 68 with the um, Impulse label. And also I got, this is I, an upgrade of this record I have already. I'll probably give it up to somebody, uh, my other copy, but um, yeah, this would have been a, an upgrade. The vinyl is, uh, oh, both of these, the vinyl is almost just flawless. Um, and the uh, Love Supreme I had before was a colored uh, vinyl reissue. Of course there's the uh, the inside. But um, yeah I was glad to glad to get an upgrade on that one. Yeah. For one thing that one goes for quite a bit, you know. That one tops out about four times what the reissue was. So all right, moving right along, uh, some psych. This is uh, some very hard psych. This is Ash Can, In From The Cold. This was originally in 1969. This is a more recent reissue. Um, yeah, the, this album is just so good. It was... Uh, It's the kind of psych that I really like because it really crosses over the hard rock with fuzz guitar and uh, and I like it. This is uh, a little bit more uh, traditional 
um, psych music, if you would. Uh, this was after um, Van Morrison left, and the band, you know, actually started playing more psych because that was kind of where they all wanted to uh, make music. But uh, I love this label too. I gotta pull it right out so you can see it. Happy Tiger. Well, that's what the uh, the 1969 pressing was on Happy Tiger. So I, they probably lost any deals with the major record labels and went to that record label. And then my last psych album is uh, Mini Grail. It is Please uh, Seeing Stars. Um, not too long ago I showed uh, Please and I think the title was 1967-1968. That was the title of it. Uh, this one is called Seeing Stars. This band actually went on, evolved into a, another psych band called um, Neon Pearl. And I also have that album. And that album was one that kind of got me going and looking for these other uh, Please um, records because I liked Neon Pearl so much. Um, that Neon Pearl was uh, sent to me, VCLT, by uh, Randy, um, Dead Wax, Dead Wax uh, um, 66, and uh, that was good too. So, But this album right here, it's the best one of all, all the bunch. Just, just, it's true psych. I mean, all the way through it so now we're going to get into uh some rock and roll boy they just came out with some great reissues and i hope it's a uh, beginning of uh of a lot of more reissues to come because there's so many great uh hair metal bands uh, late 80s that early 90s that uh, many of them just came out on CD but uh, this great rock and roll um, I'd show you the band but yeah they all got masks on so I don't know <laughs> what good that does uh, it was a limited edition I believe limited to 2000 this is a copy 1448 and it is on music on vinyl and uh, there's the old road runner label so yeah that has some great music uh, Crimson Gloria uh, that would be like uh, that would be it just straight up rock and roll I guess I don't know what we'd call it uh, hair metal or not, but moving right along, I picked up a Praying Mantis. This too was on a, a limited uh, vinyl, but it's on uh, Frontiers. And uh, this is actually a new album by the band. Um, Praying Mantis. There's the boys. And I love Praying Mantis. The very first album back in 1985 was uh, just awesome. It was one of, the, one of the better new wave of British heavy metal uh, groups that was out there. So 
Yeah, I still pick up uh, Praying Mantis because uh, the band has been putting out albums after about, I don't know what it was, 10 year hiatus. I think somewhere in the 90s they started up, got back together, and then started producing uh, albums almost every year, every other year, something like that. And then moving right along, enough's enough. Look at that cover, huh? 1985. Did I buy it just because of the cover? Uh, kinda. I, I like Enough's Enough. It's a very good band. Uh, this album, though, was a little bit of a letdown, I guess I could say. Uh, it was, uh, they did a lot of cover songs, like Tears of a Clown, which just doesn't make sense. That was a pop song. Uh, Catholic Girls, and, uh, pop songs. Um, a lot of these. And uh, I guess it turned it into power pop. <laughs> but, uh, Enough's Enough is a very good band. Um, but this group here is a, uh, I like even better, and it is Kick Tracy. Um, I know, uh, oh, some, I've seen this out, you know, out on the VC. I mean, not not this particular one, but uh, they did release, I think, Kick Tracy's first album. Uh, but uh, yeah, th th this is really, really good music. I, they did a few cover songs on here, Cats in the Cradle, and uh, a couple other ones. But, uh, yeah, it was so good. It's a two-record uh, set. And uh, on pretty blue vinyl. But, uh, yeah, so that just about wraps it up there. I did order, that's volume one of Big Western Sky. Kick Tracy. I did order a uh, volume two. Uh, they're getting pricey. Boy, all of it's pricey. Um, but uh, I ordered a couple other ones too. So I got some records coming. I do have some records going too. I'm still trying to sell a bunch of records here. Uh, I thought about trying to sell them on. Uh, the vinyl community but I don't know as if uh, I know how to do that very well uh, put it in the comments if you think I ought to try it but uh, yeah but anyhow thanks everybody I'm glad you was able to stop in and uh, until the next time take care